Hi, welcome everyone. Uh, so today we're going to uh, work on the lab sessions for your CSA subjects. So in this uh, lab sessions, we're going to learn about the assembly language for the x86 processors. So the one you see in the screen is the website uh, for all the contents you needed for the uh, uh, basic content you needed for your uh, lab sessions. So first of all, please go into this uh, asmry.com website. When you come into this web page, you will have uh, uh, these two things, the getting started with the MSM and uh, Visual Studio. So uh, uh, you can either select the 2017 or 2019 also okay, but uh, you have to match with the version you downloaded in your computer, the Visual Studio versions. So for me, I'm using the 2019, so uh, I'm using this one. and. Uh, I recommend everyone to use on 2019 because uh, we have the free accounts for UM students by using the uh, uh, Siswa 365 accounts you are able to access the uh, Visual Studio 2019 enterprise versions fully okay so uh, when you come to this web page you just click on this one getting started with MSM okay, then there's a two things to download uh, the first one is the one in here right click here to download the code examples and required library for the book so there's the code examples and the libraries required for our lab sessions so you just click on that then you will start to download the uh, zip file then the second one is this one download uh, right click here to download a zip file containing the 32 bits visual studio 2019 projects okay so the one we are going to be working on is the 32 bits ver uh, versions. We are not going to go into the 64 bits. So that's uh, you only need to download this file. Okay. So there's two files. One is this one. The other one is this one. So after you download, it, you should see uh, the the first one you downloaded will will get a erwine.zip folder. The second one you'll get a project 32 underscore vs 2019 .zip folders. Okay, so this is the two folder you're going to download it. Then you just unzip and uh, the erwine you put it in your C drive. Okay, the erwine you will just uh, put it into your C drive. So after you download it, you will get these two uh, zip files in your uh, the, the PC. So you just uh, right click and uh, extract the files. Yeah, you can using your uh, extract uh, seven zip to extract your your windows and so we extract both the folders. And please make sure when you open up, uh, it should be sure with the erwine folder which contain everything. Okay, so we just bring this erwine folder which contain everything to the C drive. If you, after unzip, you click in, there's a one folder. So you, you don't bring the outside one, you bring the inside one. The, the folder which contain di like directly all the uh, files you required. Okay, you copy this one and cut and paste it uh, into your C drive. Okay, you just copy it and put it into your C drive. Okay, so you just uh, copy into your local disk C drive. Okay, the one folder here, yeah. So when you click in, they should contain everything. Uh, the examples and all the uh, items here okay all the files are inside here for the uh, Y folder then for your project 32 folder this one version uh, 2009 Visual Studio 2019 you can put it in your document folders or in your D drive and then drive also can or even in your desktop because this is the file we're going to use in all the labs uh, sessions because this is a uh, examples uh, program setup. If you didn't use uh, this one, then you have to follow the website to create the, the 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 files from the scratch, the project from the scratch. So it's it's quite uh, a lot of step in the follow and quite uh, difficult. So so that's why uh, to be easy, we just straight away copy the project file from here. So every time you want to use the assembly language, you just uh, open these folders and open this file vc++ project the file which uh, which has this vc++ project file types okay this one you just double click it and you open up your projects but uh, before you do that this is the two folder you install and put in c drive and the location you want to put the project 32 folders 
the next step is to install your Visual Studio 2019. Okay. So to install the Visual Studio 2019, you just Google search the Visual Studio Enterprise 2019. Then you come to here, you can just click on it. Uh, then you can just uh, click the Enterprise versions. Uh, we don't using the free try. Uh, it, it, it just <laughs> click on it. And they will give you the uh, uh, download this, this file to do the installations. Then you double click it. So you just click this. Okay, then we'll start to do the uh, Visual Studio installer. So after it has done, you will come to uh, actually you'll come to this page because since I have already uh, installed the versions, so the uh, you should have the install button here instead of modify. You should have the install button here. So you just click install, or you will come to or you may straight away directly come to this pages. The next page you're going to see. Yeah, this page. So the most important thing you need to click these two things: the .NET Desktop Development and the desktop development with the C++. Okay, so you need to install these two things. Click these two things, then you install. Just click the install. That's all. Then you will start the installations until it, is, it, it has been done. Then you will have your Visual Studio Enterprise version in your PC. Okay, uh, it may take half an hour like that. It depends on your PC. So this is the step. And remember, the two things you need to click is these two. .NET Desktop Developments and the Desktop Development with C++. You need these two things or else you're facing problems in your future lab sessions. Okay, so this is the two uh, important things. The ASMRY to download the two folders, then the uh, Visual Studio 2019 Enterprise to uh, install your Visual Studio 2019. So these two steps, you have to uh, be has, has you need to do this two steps two step because we can bef before we can start the lab sessions. Okay, so after your installation of Visual Studios, you can just uh, open the apps up. Then they will ask you to sign in. So you can using your three six five accounts to sign in. So the three six five account is just the uh, same as your Siswamil. Just uh, you key in your Siswamil then Elias. Uh, the username the same, but the alias you need to use siswa three six five dot uh, un dot edu dot my I think yes. Okay, so this is the login account for me. I'm just using the, my un three six five account. So the same you can use your uh, siswa three six five account, or if you want you can you can di directly open the uh, Visual Studio two thousand nineteen by clicking this vc plus plus project also. They also go into uh, your Visual Studio. So, uh, then they'll ask you to do some uh, uh, basic selections, the color theme you want, and after you just start Visual Studio. That's all. Okay. So this is how you log in. Then you will have the license to use this uh, Visual Studio 2019 Enterprise versions by using your 365 account. So after you have installed everything, you can just open this up. So every time you want to use the lab, you want to try the coding, you, you, you edit this, this file, the VC++ file. This is the file you're going to edit. Uh, so you can turn 19. So for this one, I just click OK. So after you open up the VC++ folder, then you will have uh, this thing come up. You just go here. There's an add sub to .asm file. Okay, you just double click this one. This one will pop up. Open up this thing. So this is the uh, uh, files we need to do the uh, coding additions to uh, in our lab sessions. Okay, so up to this point, you have done all the basic setup you needed for the lab sessions. First thing is to uh, go to SMLY to uh, install the uh, to download the folders right the ASM file to download the two folders required. Okay, 
Then the second thing is to install your uh, Visual Studios. Then the final thing, you can start to open up your Visual Studio with C++ folders. Okay, and go to this add subs to .asm. So that's all. That's the first thing you need to do for this lab sessions.